Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from TheRightTrader.com back today with another cryptocurrency video. I'm going to be talking and reviewing uh, Coinbase, giving you my thoughts on this exchange as well as, you know, my general opinions on it, my experience, because I do use it myself. And this is going to be a completely unbiased review. I'm not sponsored by Coinbase or anything. But with that being said, if at the end of this video you do feel like Coinbase is the right platform for you, I have a referral link in the description and the comments below where you can get $10 free when you sign up. And with that being said, let me get right into this uh, video. So I'm going to kind of run you through the website, you know, talk about fees, um, all that stuff. And first off, let me kind of give you a general idea of what Coinbase is. So, you know, it is actually the, the biggest um, exchange out there as far as cryptocurrencies. They've served over 13.2 uh, million customers. Absolutely amazing number. It keeps growing day by day. And this number has really been growing quickly, which is obviously a good sign if you're going to be investing in cryptocurrencies. They've exchanged over $40 billion in digital currency, and they're supported in 32 countries. So, you know, Coinbase is definitely a legit, established, um, and trustworthy exchange, in my opinion, right? They're backed by big investors. Uh, they're located in the U.S. and San Francisco. So there shouldn't really be any problems um, as far as, you know, trustworthiness and legitimacy goes. Now, what exactly does uh, this Coinbase come with? Well, Coinbase has, you know, um, a mobile wallet, so an Android app and an iPhone app. Obviously, pretty simple uh, stuff. You know, Coinbase is not meant to be uh, an advanced platform by any means. It's really just made for, you know, newcomers especially or anyone who just wants, you know, a hassle-free experience when dealing with cryptocurrencies, which is something that I really appreciate. And, you know, if you're looking for some kind of advanced charting or advance buy and sell orders, Coinbase isn't going to be the platform for you, right? You, they do have a more advanced um, exchange, GDAX, if you want that kind of stuff. But, you know, I, I'm going to be talking and focusing on, uh, on Coinbase specifically. With that being said, though, you have to realize that if you have a Coinbase account, uh, you automatically, um, you know, can, can join uh, GDAX afterwards. So if that's, you know, a better choice for you, that shouldn't be a problem. Now, you know, what can you expect as far as charts and stuff goes? Um, just stuff like you see here on the website. So, you know, very basic stuff with um, just basic line charts and a couple different time frames. Of course, the, the prices are live and everything, so it gets the job done fine in my opinion. But if you want to, you know, advanced charting, the place to go for that is, um, is tradingview.com, which, you know, that's where I go to do my technical analysis and stuff like that. So you would just put in, you know, Bitcoin to USD, for example, choose the Coinbase exchange. And then you would get, you know, the more detailed advanced uh, chart right over here. So, you know, I don't think it's a big deal that they don't have advanced charts and stuff like that. Now, moving onwards towards, you know, um, the different features of Coinbase. They have, you know, a pretty good insurance um, on your digital currency. So I'm going to go over that really quickly. A pretty good, you know, insurance in my opinion. So basically all digital currency that Coinbase holds online is fully insured. Uh, that means that if Coinbase uh, suffers a breach of its online storage, the insurance policy would pay out to cover any uh, customer funds that are lost. And, you know, um, they also says that it really covers any kind of physical security, cybersecurity, or employee uh, theft type of um, loss, right? Now, what you have to realize, and I think that this is a really good thing, is that Coinbase holds uh, less than 2% of um, its customers funds online right all the the rest of that is held in offline storage and that's really a big uh, selling point for me now of course a lot of people in the cryptocurrency space are you know very nitpicky about security and stuff like that i don't think that coinbase um, has any problems with that they you know their, their security is top notch really and like they say here um you know 98 percent of the funds um, are actually stored offline right so they can't really get hacked per se. A lot of people in the crypto space like to put their cryptocurrencies on a hardware wallet, you know, which is a, a physical, um, you know, wallet. And that's fine if, if that's the route you want to go. I just feel like, you know, there's stuff that could go wrong with, with a hardware wallet as well, right? Like losing it and stuff like that. And you are fully responsible at that point if you're going to be using a hardware wallet of your own. So, you know, I like um, all that handled um by another person, you know, I don't really want to deal with all that stuff. And, and Coinbase does that, you know, very efficiently and well. They also have some other uh, security um, options that you can take, like the two-step verification, stuff like that. And they also have, you know, 
um, a vault basically a multi-signature vault so they do have you know other options if you want to layer up the the security on your cryptocurrencies so you know that that just depends on on what you personally are looking for as far as security goes but you know they are a secure platform and they do take you know significant steps to make sure that um, yeah your cryptocurrencies are secured with that being said though one thing that you do have to realize is that um, this insurance policy that they have doesn't cover any losses um, if your account itself is compromised, right? Meaning that, you know, if you um, give your password out to someone and they steal your cryptocurrencies or something like that, they're obviously not going to cover that, right? And um, as far as, you know, uh, fiat currency goes, so US dollars in your, in your um, Coinbase wallet, for example, uh, that's FDIC insured up to $250,000. So that's a good thing. Um, now, what you have to realize, if, if you want the USD wallet, which, you know, it's, it's um, yeah, like actual, uh, you know, fiat currency on Coinbase, you do have to go through some additional verification steps on your account. So that's something to realize, but it does allow you to, you know, uh, buy cryptocurrencies right away and sell them right away, right? And get that uh, money back into US dollars quickly without, you know, needing to wait for a bank tra transfer times and stuff like that, okay? They also have recurring buys, which is something that not all um, cryptocurrencies exchanges have. So if you want to, you know, invest um, a small amount of money every week or something like that, you can do that with Coinbase, which, you know, might be a really good um, selling point for some people. And other than that, let's move on to some other stuff. So really quickly, I'll, I'll go over the list of uh, countries that they support. Um, of obviously the United States and you know other European countries stuff like that I'm not going to you know talk about the whole list but um, you get the idea and moving onward here let's talk a little bit about the fees so basically the uh, the fee at least in the US is uh, you know just under 1.5 percent uh, with a minimum of uh, 15 cents and that's if you do you know a bank transfer so that's personally how I prefer to purchase my cryptocurrencies. You know, it is a bit slower. That will take, you know, three to five business days, I think. So it will take several days before you actually receive your, your cryptocurrency in your account. And, you know, a little um, tidbit of information here. Let's say, you know, you purchase um, Bitcoin. You don't have to worry about getting the price when you receive your cryptocurrencies, right? You, you get the price when you actually hit that buy button. So it doesn't matter if it takes five days for you to actually get the Bitcoin. You locked in the price at the time you actually bought the, the Bitcoin, even if you haven't received it uh, yet. So that's a good thing and, uh, you know, something that I got kind of confused about at the beginning. But you do lock in the price at the time of the purchase, right? Not at the time that you receive the cryptocurrencies. But, you know, the bank transfer um, times are, you know, somewhat long and they do take several days. So that can be annoying for some people. Uh, same thing with the withdrawals, right? It might be a bit quicker, but more or less the same thing. And yeah, it could just be annoying because let's say you were to, you can't really trade um, doing that, right? If you were to buy um, your, your Bitcoin, for example, that would take a couple days and you couldn't really trade in between that time before you actually receive it, at which point you could sell it, right? Other than that, you know, the Coinbase USD wallet has um, the, that one, un, just under 1.5% fee, but the advantages of that is that you don't have those long wait times, right? Otherwise, if you want, you know, instant um, purchases, you can use a credit or debit card, but that'll be um, a fee that's just under 4%, which is, you know, a bit high in my opinion. And uh, unless I, I really needed to purchase it or something like that, I, I just don't want to spend uh, that much money on the, the, the fee of actually buying the cryptocurrency, right? I do think that's a bit high and that, you know, I prefer waiting a couple days and, uh, and having a, a smaller fee, right? As far as, you know, deposits go, if you use an ACH transfer, so like from a bank account and stuff, uh, that's free um, as well. So not too bad on the fees. Some people find them a bit high. I think they're pretty reasonable. And, you know, going over uh, the account limits, this is something that you have to realize when buying and selling on Coinbase is they do put weekly limits on the amounts that you buy and sell. So those limits will go up, you know, based on different things. You know, if you verify your account fully, stuff like that, that will allow you to, you know, purchase and sell more uh, cryptocurrency on a weekly basis and stuff like that. So, and as well as you purchase more cryptocurrencies, um, that limit is likely to increase as well. If you use the USD wallet, you can also get um, higher, um, you know, purchasing amounts and stuff like that. Now, one thing that I should say is as far as, you know, verification goes and how much information you need to give to Coinbase, uh, it's not that much. It's actually relatively 
uh, small amount of personal information that you have to give out in my opinion and from my experience you know it's less than something like E-Trade so you know a stockbroker uh, account and yeah it was actually really quick to to get everything up and running on Coinbase um, you can pretty much get started right away after just a, a very quick setup really. Let me go over some of the cons of Coinbase and where it might fall a bit short. So one thing that's very unfortunate with Coinbase is that they don't offer many cryptocurrencies right they basically offer the three main ones, which would be Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, which is fine. And you know, if a newcomer, uh, if you're a newcomer, that that's pretty much all you really need to focus on. Even myself, I, I mainly you know trade these cryptocurrencies. But with that being said, though, you know there there's a lot of opportunity in the cryptocurrency space, and you know I can come over and and go through the list here. But the list goes on and on. There's a lot of uh, potential opportunities that you could benefit from. And unfortunately, with Coinbase, you won't be able to, you know, get in on, on some of those other cryptocurrencies that are out there, right? So that's probably the, the biggest downside of Coinbase, in my opinion. But with that being said, they might add, you know, uh, different cryptocurrencies moving forward. But for now, there's, uh, there's still with these, um, the, these three right here. And, you know, other than that, um, I heard that the customer service is, you know, relatively bad now. I never really had any problems with Coinbase, you know, when, when purchasing and stuff like that and using the exchange. But it's something to realize that they, they only have email support, I think. So obviously, you can't expect that much. And that does seem to be one of the places that they fall a bit short. Like I said, I haven't really had any bad experiences. But uh, from what I've seen, that is um, one of the, the cons of Coinbase. One other thing that I should point out is that Coinbase, you know, may seem a little bit restrictive for some people. And um, that's understandable, but most of the things that seem like, you know, a bit limiting with Coinbase are mainly just for, you know, your own security, I guess you could say. And some people may not like that added, you know, uh, those added limitations and stuff like that. And that's definitely understandable, right? So I would say that those are the three main downsides of Coinbase. But overall, you know, like I said, I haven't really had any problems with the exchange. It's done everything I, I needed it to. And yeah, I mean, uh, I, I personally... Uh, do like Coinbase and it, it is my main exchange of choice, right? Yeah, I mean, this is pretty much the, the end of this uh, Coinbase review. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, go ahead and let me know what you think of Coinbase if you're already using it. And um, yeah, let me let me know which cryptocurrency uh, you might be using as of right now or if you're not using any at all. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you're interested in joining Coinbase, go check out the referral link in the description where you can get $10 free when you sign up. But other than that, uh, I hope you found this video helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Have a nice day.